Hi friends, it's Miss Corey here. You came back for another music. Today is going to be really fun because we get to talk about gingerbread men and gingerbread women and reindeer. Those are some of our seasonal favorite items. The first thing we should do before we talk about reindeer and gingerbread men is to sing hello. I'm ready. Are you ready? Yes. Hello song. Carl's coming to say hi to everybody today. Everybody hands up. All done. Hello. All done. Hello. All done. Hello. It's time for something new. I wanted to show you one of my favorite things to do around the holidays is to bake. And I really enjoy baking cookies. I brought one of my cookie trays today to show you that I'm baking our gingerbread men. Oh, no cookies for Carl. Our gingerbread men are kind of tricky though because they play games. Can you help me count how many gingerbread men are on my cookie tray today? I have one, two, Three, four, five. Can you put five up on your hands just like this? Five little gingerbread baking on a tray. One got up and ran away. <laughs> Where's he going? He says, catch me, catch me if you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. Oh man. Now, how many gingerbread men do we have? We had five minus one equals four. One, two, three, four. Well, you were right. Four little gingerbread baking on a tray. One got up and ran away. <laughs> Where's he going? He said, catch me, catch me if you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. My goodness, we had four and one ran away. So four minus one equals three. One, two, three. Three 
three little gingerbread baking on a tray. One got up and ran away. <laughs> Woo! He said, catch me, catch me if you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. Silly gingerbread men, there's not gonna be enough cookies for everybody. We had three and one ran away. So three minus one is, you're so smart, one. Two, two little gingerbread baking on a tray. One got up and ran away. <laughs> he said, catch me, catch me if you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. Only one cookie left. I hope he doesn't run away. We're not gonna have any cookies for the holiday. We had two and one ran away. So two minus one equals one. One little gingerbread baking on a tray. He got up and ran away. <laughs> he said, catch me, catch me if you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. He ran so fast. Let's see if we can go faster. He said, catch me, catch me if you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. Even faster. Catch me, catch me if you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. How many cookies do I have left? No cookies, zero, because one minus one equals zero. Maybe next time we should bake chocolate chip cookies instead. All right, I'm all done with our gingerbread man song, so we're going to put our hands up and sing. All done, gingerbread. All done, gingerbread. All done, gingerbread. It's time for something new. All right. Since all of our gingerbread men ran away, maybe we can make another one. Last week, we practiced drawing a fire truck. This week, maybe you can help Miss Corey draw a gingerbread man. Um, if you don't have a gingerbread man, I can, you can help, a uh, oh, grown-up can help you to draw the outline of a gingerbread man, or maybe you can try to draw a head and two arms and two legs, because we're gonna give the gingerbread man all the rest of the details. Um, some of my teacher friends, you can help print them out. I'll send you a template. I want to add some of the things on his face and some decorations on the rest of his body. Do you know the gingerbread man? I showed you the gingerbread man on my baking sheet. Let's see if we can remember some of the things that was on him. Do you know the gingerbread man, the gingerbread man, the gingerbread man? Do you know the gingerbread man? He has some eyes you see, just like you. He has two eyes. You can make the eyes on your gingerbread man any shape you want. I'm going to make his eyes two circles. My gingerbread eyes look like this. Circle, circle. Hmm. Maybe he needs something to help him smell. What do you use to smell? He needs a nose too, I think. Do you know the gingerbread man, the gingerbread man, the gingerbread man? Do you know the gingerbread man? He has a nose, you see. I have an idea for his nose. I think I'm going to make a triangle. A triangle is the shape with three sides. How does it look? Can you make a triangle on your gingerbread man? I know what he needs next. Do you know what that is? 
Do you know the gingerbread man, the gingerbread man, the gingerbread man? Do you know the gingerbread man? He has a mouth, you see. My gingerbread man is so happy that it's music day. I'm going to give him a happy face. So his mouth goes like that. If your gingerbread man is not feeling happy, maybe you can give him a sad face. Or maybe he has a straight face because he's just feeling okay. Or maybe he's scared and you give him a squiggly mouth. Miss Corey's gingerbread is happy. You know what else he needs? He needs something to button his shirt. Do you know the gingerbread man, the gingerbread man, the gingerbread man? Do you know the gingerbread man? He has some buttons you see. I think my gingerbread man has the best buttons. I'm going to give him square buttons. One, two, three. My, my gingerbread man has square buttons. Your gingerbread man can have circles or ovals or even some heart buttons. You decide because all of our gingerbread men are gonna look so different. You know, I said heart. I think I'm going to decorate my gingerbread man with a heart also. Do you know the gingerbread man, the gingerbread man, the gingerbread man? Do you know the gingerbread man? He has a heart, you see. I'm going to put a heart right next to his buttons. Isn't he beautiful? Maybe later I will color that heart red. We have to have a couple more things on this gingerbread man. We're going to put some decorations on his wrist. Do you remember his hands and his arms? Your wrist is right between your hand and your arm. Do you know the gingerbread man, the gingerbread man, the gingerbread man? Do you know the gingerbread man? He has a wrist, you see. I'm going to do zigzag, 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 just like that on his wrist. Maybe over here too. Zigzag, zigzag. Makes it look like frosting. And between your foot and your leg is another spot. Your wrist is up here, but this spot is your ankle. Do you know where that ankle is on the gingerbread man? Do you think his ankle is up here? No. It's between his foot and his leg. Here is his ankle. Do you know the gingerbread man, the gingerbread man, the gingerbread man? Do you know the gingerbread man? He has an ankle, you see. This time I'm going to go squiggle, squiggle, squiggle. And squiggle, squiggle, squiggle. Oh, he has two ankles, just like you and me. I think he needs maybe one more decoration. A belt. Now, where do you wear a belt? Do you wear a belt over your eyes? No, then we can't see. I would wear a belt right on my waist or my hip. His would be right under his belly, right there. Do you know the gingerbread man, the gingerbread man, the gingerbread man? Do you know the gingerbread man? He has a belt, you see. I'm going to make a straight line belt. Just goes across like this. He looks great. You can add whatever else you want to your gingerbread man because your gingerbread man is yours and it's going to be different just like we are all different. You might give him some ears or a hat or even some hair and then later you can give him some color. You can color him, use red and green and orange, maybe pink or Miss Corey's favorite color, purple. We are all done with our coloring gingerbread. So let's put our hands up and sing. All done coloring gingerbread. 
All done coloring gingerbread. All done coloring gingerbread. It's time for something new. We should move our bodies. We should pretend to be gingerbread because the gingerbread man cookie, he kind of looks like us. He has a head just like us. He has arms just like us and legs. I bet we could do a gingerbread dance. Remember how tricky he was running away? I wonder if that's gonna be in our dance too. Let me get my guitar and I'll stand up. Make sure you have some room to move your body. You're not gonna knock anything over. All right, let's warm up. Remember how he was running? Did you run like that? Run, run, run like a gingerbread man. Run, run, run. He's a high jumper if he's always running. Jump, jump, jump like the gingerbread man. Jump, jump, jump like the gingerbread man. Jump, jump, jump like the gingerbread man. Freeze. Catch me, catch me. Whoa. That was a lot of jumping. I bet he knows how to spin. Remember, when you're spinning, stay safe. Spin, spin, spin like a gingerbread man. Spin, spin, spin like a gingerbread man. Spin, spin, spin like a gingerbread man. Freeze. Catch me, catch me if you can. Always goes fast when he says catch me. Maybe he likes to play the game tag. Could you clap your hands? Like the gingerbread man, clap, 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 like the gingerbread man, clap, 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 like the gingerbread man. Catch me, catch me if you can. Oh my goodness, this is a silly dance to all these gingerbread men. Do you think he can balance? Watch, Miss Corey's going to pick one foot up, just like you do in yoga when we do tree pose. Stand on one foot like a gingerbread man. Stand on one foot like a gingerbread man. Stand on one foot like a gingerbread man. Catch me, catch me if you can. Woo! I gotta put both feet down so I don't fall over. All right, let's try one more direction. gingerbread men. They're sneaky, aren't they? They're tricky. Always moving around, just like some of my friends. We're all done with our gingerbread dance, so everybody put your hands up and sing. All done, gingerbread dance. All done, gingerbread dance. All done, gingerbread dance. It's time for something new. Remember how Miss Corey told you we were going to talk about gingerbread man and reindeer. Well, we didn't do any reindeer songs yet, so I think it's the perfect time to do a reindeer song. Maybe you've heard of some reindeer before, like Dasher, Rudolph, Vixen. Some of us know the song about Rudolph, where we say all of the, the reindeer names. Well, Miss Corey has some pictures of some reindeer here too, but they're kind of different. They look like reindeer. They have antlers. They have a red nose like Rudolph. But their faces are a different shape. They don't stay where they're supposed to because they're different. 
they escape. I'm going to give you a clue though. See if you know what shape their face is. You know Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen. Comet and Cupid and Donner and Blitzen. But one reindeer escaped because he was a different shape. <gasps> it's Bear! What shape is Bear? Bear the square reindeer had a very square head. But when he gets tired, he lays that square down in bed. Shh. Good night, Bear. Let's see who else we have. You know Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen, Comet and Cupid and Donner and Blitzen. But one reindeer escaped because he was a different shape. It's Merkel. What shape is Merkel? He's a circle. Merkel, the circle reindeer, had a very circle head. And when he gets tired, he lays the circle down in bed. Bye, Merkel. He's going to bed. Mm. Oh, I know this guy. You know Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen. Comet and Cupid and Donner and Blitzen. But one reindeer escaped because he was a different shape. It's Becktangle. What shape is Becktangle? Becktangle, the rectangle reindeer, had a rectangle head. And when he gets tired, he lays that rectangle down in bed. He's going to sleep. Mm, I have a couple more reindeer. I love this one. You know Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen, Comet and Cupid and Donner and Blitzen, but one reindeer escaped because he was a different shape. It's Hovel. What shape is Hovel? He's an oval. Hovel, the oval reindeer, had a very oval head. And when he gets tired, he lays his oval down in bed. Shh, good night, Hovel. Oh, I have two more. I can't wait to show you these ones. You know Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen. Comet and Cupid and Donner and Blitzen, but one reindeer escaped because he was a different shape. It's triangle. What shape is triangle? He's a triangle. Triangle, the triangle reindeer had a triangle head. And when he gets tired, he lays that triangle down in bed. Shh. Goodbye, triangle. Here is our last reindeer. You know Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen, Comet and Cupid and Donner and Blitzen, but one reindeer escaped because he was a different shape. It's Fentagon! One, two, three, four, five sides. Fentagon, the Pentagon reindeer, had a Pentagon head. And when he gets tired, 
He lays his pentagon down in bed. Good night, pentagon. Pentagon the pentagon. What silly reindeer with all of the different shapes. I bet you knew a lot of the shapes. If you didn't know, you can go back and listen because Miss Corey gave you some clues with their names. Their names are rhyming words for the shape. We're all done with our reindeer, our shape reindeer, so we can put our hands up and sing. All done shape reindeer, all done shape reindeer, all done shape reindeer, it's time to say goodbye. know how much I love to hear you sing. Sing with me. It's time to say goodbye. 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 Thank you for helping Miss Corey sing today. Friends, I will see you next week, and hopefully I get to see you soon. Bye-bye.